I just want you to tell us your Manuel Neuer story. So you uh, seen him and his training regime's a bit spider. He's a beast. He's uh, he's got, he's got a he's got a holiday home that's worth about five million euro in in Croatia. There where I was coaching, and uh, the the guy just rides his bike constantly. He's a he's a fitness freak, and you can actually see like a, I don't know. I think he's thirty eight now. Yeah. Uh, t- to be thirty eight and to be in that physical condition and to be still at that quality uh, just shows that if you do all the things right and you work hard that you can extend your career. Yep, and he's certainly doing an outstanding job. You've got to feel sorry for Ter Stegen, don't you? He's been there and thereabouts for so long and Neuer just keeps on keeping on. Yeah, but that, that's what happens. I mean, that's the one thing about goalkeepers that when you've got someone that's as, as good as Neuer, you just have to bide your chance and, and, and wait for your opportunity to come. And you know, he's, he's now 38. I, I don't know if this will be his last major tournament. I don't, I, I'm not sure when the Euros are on again, uh, but there's gonna be a change, changing of the guard. And the Germans do it so well, to be honest. Uh, they constantly give players new opportunities through these new tournaments that they're playing. And they're always strong. They're, they're always strong and they always produce players. And, but as I said, as a goalkeeper, it's, it's very hard when you got someone of a world class of Neuer to get an opportunity.